Here's our top story. Well, keeping its winning streak, India has clinched the South Asian Football Federation, the SAF Women's Championship. This is for the fifth time in a row. India defeated the host country, Nepal, by a margin of three is to one in Biratnagar a short while ago. India's Dalmir Chiba scored the first goal of the match in the 26th minute. And in the 33rd minute, Nepal's Sabrita uh, Bandari scored an equalizer. But after that, in the second half, after halftime, Grace uh, Degming uh, scored uh, two goals, for uh, a second goal for India in the 63rd minute, and it was Anju Tamang who gave India that decisive three-goal lead that happened in the, 30, the 76th minute of the game, India leading 3-1 at that stage. And this is India's 23rd straight victory in the championship, with, and this is since the championship's inception, in fact, the tournament began in 2010. India has clinched all five editions of the SAF Championship so far, has remained undefeated. And here's our correspondent, uh, Rajkumar, who was watching that match, is with us. Uh, Rajkumar, a wonderful achievement for the Indian girls, uh, winning again uh, uh, the fifth time the SAF Championship. Uh, it's, it's, uh, they are holding on to this record. It's, it's amazing. Uh, yes, Mark. Yes, Mark, this is a historic day for uh, Indian football and Indian women football especially because uh, in SAF championship, India has unbeaten record and today again they proved they are best in the region. The Indian girls played attacking game, uh, they, uh, both the teams played attacking game from the very beginning, but uh, 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 till, till half time both were uh, by one, one goal each. Uh, but in the second half, Indian team took the dominance. They took the uh, command, and uh, they they were uh, uh, they made many moves, and finally they were able to score two goals. So uh, they defeated host Nepal by three one. The, though the crowd was supporting host team, and Nepal was also playing good right. football, but finally it was there for India, and in India uh, able to cap this unbeaten record mark. Right, and uh, Nepal had done very well in the tournament, uh, and uh, they, uh, uh, it looked, you said, 1-1 one, one at uh, halftime. So the crowd must have been, uh, you know, quite excited. Uh, it was in the second half that India raised their game to a large extent, isn't it? And uh, perhaps, uh, uh, you know, it, uh, went ahead, and uh, Nepal couldn't catch up. Exactly, Mark. Uh, as, as I was discussing you yesterday, the football is very popular in Nepal. And today, the, the, Rang, the Rangashala and Brat Nagar, the football ground, the Shahid Rangashala was fully packed. And the, and the commentators and the TV, TV commentators were requesting the, uh, the uh, Nepali crowd not to come to stadium, stadium because right. it was already jam packed. So the crowd was cheering their uh, host team. And uh, up to the second, mid mid time, up to the first half, both teams were playing very good football. But in the second half, Indian took team, Indian team took the lead, and finally they were able to manage two more goals. And right. uh, India uh, got the uh, Rajkumar. Uh, who were the standout the performers for India in this tournament? Who were the standout performers for India? I uh, see uh, Dalmia Chibber uh, was declared most valuable player of the final match, today's match. And in the entire tournament, Indumati Kartisan, uh, India's Indumati Kartisan, she scored four goals. And Nepal, Sabrita Bhandari, who scored one goal in today's final also. Sabrita and Indumati both scored four goals each for their respective teams in, a, in last four matches. And they were declared most scorer of the tournament. And uh, this was really a historic day for India, for football, for South Asian women football. Right. And as, as per India's... Uh, uh, record in the championship, uh, they uh, they were finally able to manage. Sure. Uh, now, Raj Kumar, well, India is uh, is unbeaten in SAF games, uh, has a huge record in uh, in South Asia. But uh, is it now time now for India to compete on a larger scale and actually do well? Because you know, India has this kind of dominance at least in South Asia. Exactly, exactly, Mark. And this this tournament will be a, a great moral booster for India because now India will going to play uh, for uh, Olympic qualifiers, 2020 Olympic qualifiers. For Olympic qualifiers, this this win uh, is really going to help in help to uh, boost Indian preparations to uh, fine tune Indian preparations because. Uh, uh, if, if we'll talk recent encounters between India and Nepal, in last two encounters in November last year, uh, in Olympic qualifiers one, 
Nepal defeated India. Oh, sorry, uh, both teams were one one each. And in uh, last month uh, during Hero Gold Cup, Nepal defeated India by two one. So today match was also very exciting, very 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 well. It was right. both teams were playing well, and this championship is really going to help Team India's preparations for uh, other bigger events, especially for Olympic qualifiers, 2020 Olympic qualifiers, and uh, it is going to help a lot to Indian team. Mark Rajkumar, our correspondent in Kathmandu. Thank you very much for joining us.